I come to announce to you there is about to be a resurrection for somebody. When you don't exercise your faith, it will not be strong. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We must continue to be hearing the word of God. This is Get Connected with Bishop Israel Adey Ajala. Hello and welcome to this edition of Get Connected, where your life is being lifted by the Word of God by Bishop Israel Ade Ajala, God's servant to the nations and creator of the Kindness Revolution. Today's topic is, I see how I look like. Here is Bishop Israel Ade Ajala. You know, I, I, I am so grateful to God that he has put our path together, we, our path crossed, and I can always come to you and share the word of God based on what God has placed in my heart. This whole month, like I said, we are going to be looking into the word of God, the, the importance of it, the power of it, the efficacy of it, and the beauty of it. Now, I want you to look at this have you ever been driving and all of a sudden you are in a, a traffic stoplight you are a guy and you look on your left side there's a lady also either sitting next to a person or driving and he's looking into the mirror and he's trying to fix everything again and again now it doesn't mean it's wrong or right, right. but i always wonder i was following somebody we got to another stoplight and the person look into the mirror again and it goes <laughs> and on and on until our path goes different way every stop sign and every traffic light this beautiful woman was looking into the mirror and this remind me of the scripture in james chapter one and the Spirit of the Lord look at and uh, spoke into my heart and said, Do you know that as, that's how many Christians behave? He says, in, 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 in uh, James chapter 1, verse 23, For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of a man he was. Now, <clears throat> how many of us have been in front of a mirror, and three minutes later we came back, and I'm thinking, why did you come back? Did you expect to see a taller individual, a shorter individual? Most of the time is because we forgot how we look like. Now, the scripture, here it is, let me start from verse 22, James chapter 1, verse 22. Be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. So, I, I, I'm speaking to you, see, I see how I look like. When I went into the mirror, I see how I look like. It's not that I saw, I see, because my mm -hmm. eyes is constantly in the mirror. He said, the man who forgets what God calls him, what the word of God describes you, if you forget, you is, it's an indication of that person is like a hearer of the word, not a doer, because he said, a hearer of the word, who does not do the word is like a man who looks into the mirror, forgets totally what he looks like. Guess what he will do? He will come back. Now, so what do we do? But he says, verse 25, but he who looks, continuous present, he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it, and is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work. This one will be blessed in what he does. This one. So the word of God 
is the mirror that shows you what you look like. Yes. The word of God is the standard by which you measure your character, your attitude, your strength, your power, your weaknesses. Because the word of God is what shows you what you look like. Now watch this. The word of God already shows you what you look like. The word of God is a mirror and it shows me what I look like after I believe in the word of God. I'm not what you think or say I am. I am what the word of God say I am. The first thing I know is that the word of God says I am a new creation and I must not forget that. When I look into the world, the perfect law of liberty, I discover what I look like, a new creation. The world may say you are this or you are that, but when you look into the word of God, it mm -hmm. tells you that you are brand new in Christ. Yes. You are not an upgrade of your old self. You are a new person. The Bible says you are a royal priesthood. That's what, so when you look into the word of God, you are not seeing a sinner condemned to die. You see a royal priesthood. You see son of God, daughter of God. You see the head and not the tail. Yes. The word tells you who you are. Don't allow the world to tell you who you are this year. Remind yourself of what the word of God says you are. You know, the word tells you who you are. All you need to do is to find out what the word of God says about you. I see how I look like now. I don't care what you say. I don't care what she says. I don't care what the mama name say. All I know is the word of God says I am a new creation. Yes. The word of God says I am the head and not the tail. The word of God says I am beautifully and wonderfully made. The word of God says I, I, I am a son of God. The word of God say, tells me I have the power of Christ and the word. So, so that is who I am. That is who I am. Not, I don't like your face. I don't, that's not who I am. Somebody say, I don't like your face. I say, wonderful. Probably you have some cataract also. <laughs> who knows? Who knows whether some glaucoma is coming up that you could not see a handsome man like me. You know, and he said, whoa, 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 whoa. I say, no, 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 no. I just know. Because when I look into the world, I do not see a rejected man of God. No. I see a man loved by God. I see a man that is a royal priesthood. I see a peculiar man. I see a man that has been honored from heaven. That's what I see. Yes. And hear me, the way you see yourself in the mirror is the way that you will walk out in front of the mirror. If you like what you see when you look into the mirror, do you see how your swag will change? When you <laughs> look into, your, the, into the mirror and the mirror shows you who you are and you like what you see, you will leave your room with confidence. Every time you look into the word of God, God wants you to see what God sees in you. And then you walk out with confidence. You know, many of us are getting stressed and joyless because we worry too much what other people think of us. Really? You don't need other people's opinion. Okay. Look into the world. If you know who you are, that's all that matters. If God chose you, that is what that matters. If God be for you, who can be against you? Don't stress yourself this year because somebody does not like your face. That person doesn't like his own face too. <laughs> it's not just your face he doesn't like. Ask him how many times he looked into the mirror per second, four times in a second, because mm. he kept forgetting. You know, you are a spectacular miracle. You are a spectacular miracle. No one can take your place. You are unique. 
I, I travel the world and I will tell them, come and shake my hand. I'm so blessed. I don't mm -hmm. even know what to do with myself. You know why? Because I want them to know I'm a blessing to my generation. But you don't have money. I have seen so many miserable people with excess cash. Yes. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your uniqueness because your presence add color to the world. Without yes. you, this world would not be the same. You know, without you, this world is not complete. That's why you are sent by God onto this earth. It doesn't matter what other people say. The devil is a liar. He will use some people to talk you down. He will want to bring you down with their mouth. They will, they, they will bring down your achievement. Even people you have achieved way more than them, yes. they will still try to talk you down. And one guy was talking about us because he was mad at us and he was minimizing what we were doing. And mm -hmm. another brother said, if you do half of what Bishop has done, your noise will not let us live in Denver. You know, I, I don't worry about what they say. That's right. You should not walk around with arrogance or pride, but refuse to allow somebody who doesn't like your face to now determine your joy. Don't sell your joy so cheap. Your joy is the fruit of the spirit, not the fruit of a bozo. No, it is, it is the fruit of the spirit, yes. which means God put his joy in your heart. Now, the happiness depends on what is happening around you. And you can change what is happening with your mouth. If you don't like what is happening around you, you can confess the word of God until you see what you want to see. You see, you, the devil is a liar. Don't let them put you down. Don't see yourself as a grasshopper this year. You are not a grasshopper. You are created in the image of oh God. God. The, the, so, so, so God, uh, don't, don't listen to all this negative thing about you. You are, you are white. Oh, it's because you are white. It's because you are black. It's because you are Hispanic. Don't listen to all those. Don't let Satan put that in your heart. Mm -hmm. All races. I have friends among all races. Yes. Close friends. Yes. I don't care. I have been to 78 countries in all the seven continents of the world, and I have homes in all those nations. Why? They are my family. They are my family. I love them. Some of them, we have to, we have to speak through interpreter, through, through other ma machine, and yet we love each other. Listen, don't let nobody talk you down. You are what God says you are. I'll be right back after this. Thank you, Bishop. What a revolutionary word in a time where we're told to gauge how we think about ourselves based upon the world's opinion. Mm. Thank you so much yes. for that. And I know that you are wondering where Bishop is going with this. Stay tuned, because remember, the topic is, I see how I look like. We'll be back with more. Kingdom Connection Christian Center's free food bank is open to all. Our food bank is open every Thursday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. We are located at 1391 Oswego Street in Aurora, Colorado. For more information, call 720-859-1737. Join us for our 23rd church anniversary. There will be a special anointing service on Friday, January 27th at 7 p.m. Our guest speaker will be Apostle Stephen Andrews of St. John's Pentecostal House of Restoration Ministries, Antigua and Barbuda. Come and be blessed. Download the Ade Ajala Ministries app on the Google Play and Apple iOS stores. Watch us on YouTube at Ade Ajala Ministries. Please like and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications. Remember to follow us on Instagram 
at Bishop Ade Ajala and connect with us on Facebook at Bishop Ade Ajala and Kingdom Connection Christian Center. Hello and welcome back to this edition of Get Connected. The topic is, I see how I look like. Bishop, I think you got us all in mm-hmm. the beginning when you shared about women in particular, I must say. Some men were, too. And some men mm-hmm. driving along mm-hmm. and you look in the mirror, mm-hmm. you check the rear view mirror and you're looking at yourself time and time again as mm-hmm. if it's going to change mm-hmm. in those few seconds. Yes. But Bishop, there is a deeper meaning to that and mm-hmm. you so clearly brought that out mm-hmm. in the Word of God. You were talking about how that God wants us to see ourselves as he sees us. Yes. And get from behind the microscope of what the world is saying Mm -hmm. or what people are saying. Mm -hmm. In particular, someone who may not like you. They Mm -hmm. may not like your skin color, where Mm -hmm. you're from, Mm -hmm. the languages that you Mm -hmm. speak, etc. But the important perspective to have Mm -hmm. is what does God see? Mm -hmm. So, Bishop, in a world where we've been inundated with the opinion of others Mm -hmm. as believers, Mm -hmm. how do we get ourselves out of that position and get back to the position of it's more important who God says we are? Well, the the first thing is you've got to go back to find your identity Mm -hmm. in the Word of God. Okay. You must, everybody must go back to that. You know, it's so amazing that, that, that our culture has made us to always depend on the world's opinion. Yes. And if you look at the coming of Christ, he came to put away our culture so to say. He sent John the Baptist ahead of himself. That's God. Sent John the Baptist. Mm-hmm. And John the Baptist's word is always, repent, for yes. the kingdom of God is at hand. And the word repent means change the way you think. Change the way you think. Because until the way you think changes, the way you live will not change. Change the way you think. If you see yourself as penniless, you won't attempt anything great other than those type of a thing. Somebody came to me the other time. He said, Bishop, uh, the reason I didn't start a, a, a comp- my, my, my own business because I had no money. I laughed. I said, what makes you think you need money to start a business? The world. Is that not true? Yes. yes, sir. What if you if you have money, what are you doing business for? You should go spend your money. The reason you go to for into a business is not because you 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 already have money. Mm-hmm. The reason you are going to business is to get money. Yes. So you don't necessarily need money to start a business. You need idea. When the idea comes and you pursue your idea, you say, but Bishop, won't I need money to pursue my idea? I can tell you that there are people that are willing to put their money in your idea. Yes. If your idea is great. Mm-hmm. Let me give you an example of a man that you all know, Elon Musk. Yes. Elon <laughs> became rich on taxpayers' money. American taxpayers foot the bill of most of the things that make Elon a multi-billionaire. What Elon had was idea. You understand me? Yes. And government contracts started coming to him. And that's how he became the richest man in the world. If somebody from South Africa can come here and can be the richest man in the world, I have no excuse. I just need to work on godly idea. Mm-hmm. Now, that doesn't mean what he did was wrong or right. I'm not passing judgment. I'm just letting you see. You don't necessarily have to need money to start business. Some people will start a business 
and the idea will come, they don't have the money, then they will sell the idea to a bigger company yes. who will now fund it, and they will say, okay, I will give you the idea, you can buy me, uh, buy my idea, make it your own, but give me 10% or 20% of ownership mm -hmm. and use it to get me stock. You can do that. You know, I, the bigger your idea, the bigger your revenue. Don't tell me I now have an idea of how, uh, of, uh, of, of how to put a, a, a pattern on my hair. So many barbers do that. Yeah. <laughs> so so those, are, those are not, I mean, right. you've got to realize that idea that will bring you money must be idea of so, not, not copying somebody's idea yes. and just breaking the leg somewhere and say, hey, now it's a limping idea. <laughs> no, that will not give you. So, so my point is, I told the guy, go and think again. And I, and I pray over him, somebody will buy your idea. Somebody will fund your idea. Do you know every time you buy stock, you are funding somebody else's idea. That's true. That, uh, so, so you don't really need money. You need godly idea. Mm -hmm. Look, idea of Uzziah, the king, made the whole nation rich. In Second Chronicles chapter 26, idea is, he has so much idea that the whole nation became very rich from his ideas. You know, so... The first thing is to be able to change the way we think. Change the way you see yourself. You are not ordinary. That's why I told our brothers, our young ones, when you drop your pants on your butt, on your behind, you are not original. No. You are a copy of a terrible copy. Mm -hmm. And I have no apology for that. The world will not compensate you for being a copycat. We are looking for originals, people who can think, thinkers, people that will go to the word of God and God will give them idea, idea that nobody else has thought about. You don't pay for your car when you went to fix it. No, you pay for your ignorance, for yeah. not knowing how to fix the car. That is what you pay for. You don't pay are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. Because anytime you pay for service, yes. not for a, a commodity, when you pay for service, it's not the service, it's your ignorance about the service <laughs> you are paying for. And why don't you ask God? Now, do I still pay for service? Absolutely, because I'm not omniscient. There are still areas that I'm ignorant about, and I pay for ignorance. Mm -hmm. One time I bought a refrigerator. And I brought the refrigerator home, and the refrigerator will not work. And I had to call them to come in, and they said, if, if we come, and it's your fault, you will pay $90. I said, that's great. When they came, I realized that while I was moving the fridge all around, it has unplugged from the power at the back. And that's why it's not working. The guy plugged it back, and he started immediately. He said, $90, please. <laughs> I said, for what? <laughs> you know, for ignorance. Ignorance. My people <laughs> perish for ignorance, <laughs> lack of knowledge. You see, the word of God is what we open. That's why I say entrance into your word brings light. The word light is, it, it, then it brings understanding. Have you ever been in a situation you say, oh, I see the light now. Mm -hmm. it, 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 I found it now. That's what the word of God says about you. Let me, say, let me say this to you. The Bible says, God says that you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. Yes. I believe very strongly that every church in your neighborhood must be the light in that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You are the light of the world. At your work, you are the light. See yourself as the light. See yourself as a solution provider. There are two groups of people in the world, those who provide solution, those who create the problem. If you are part of those that provide the solution, you will constantly be rich. You will constantly be fulfilled. Don't, and it's starting the heart. Don't think of yourself as, oh, it's just me. It's because I'm black. You know, 
Oh, it's because I'm white, they don't like me in their culture. And it's not true. If everywhere you go, people don't like you, don't blame the people, check your character. You understand me? Because sometimes we forget to look at ourselves. Yes. And we blame somebody else. Somebody, will, he, somebody hit one guy from behind. He came out of the car and screamed, you are the fourth person I'm hitting from behind today. Why is it that none of you ever face where you are going? Wow. You see, <laughs> don't be like that. You are the light of the world. Listen, you are the apple of God's eye. That gives you confidence. I love the way John, John the, the beloved said, he said, I am the one whom Jesus loves. Yeah. Until you know who you are, abuse is inevitable. Self-abuse is inevitable. This is how you know who you are. When you can confidently say whose you are. Until, you see, when you can confidently say whose you are, a child of a king. I am a child of a king, a royal priesthood. And when you carry yourself with that consciousness, it affects the way you talk, it affects what you watch, it affects people you hang out with. Yeah. It's not pride. It's not pride. If others see themselves as grasshoppers, see yourself as a champion. It's not, you don't, you can't live somebody says, somebody else's life for them. You can only advise them. Somebody yes. say, America is very tough. I say, it's not tough for me. Do I face challenges? Absolutely. You know how I see challenges? Challenges are what? Breakfast of champions. So when I see it that way, I don't go to pity party. This is happening to me. I look into the mirror, which is the word of God, and I saw what God called me, an overcomer, a victor, not a victim. Yeah. And that's how I carry myself. That's what I want you to see in yourself. Let me pray with you before I go today. Father, I thank you for all those that are listening, watching me, even in these uh, radio broadcasts, in this podcast, in this uh, television program, and so on. I am asking for your blessing to rest upon them. Let, let the consciousness of who you have made us come into our life and in our walk, in our talk, and let the fruit of it be seen in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you for joining us. This has been a presentation of the radio ministry of Bishop Israel Ade Ajala. For more information, contact Bishop Israel Ade Ajala by email at info at kcconline.org or by phone at 720-859-1737. Thank you.